What's up everybody? I'm in Panama City, Florida. Back uh, back where I grew up at, well, near Kabat there. That's where I'm headed. Coming here to uh, do some drone flying of things I've been after since uh, my, uh, dro I bought the drone a year ago and haven't made it back at the right time of the year. So hopefully we'll get to that later on in the video. But as of now, me and Mock here, <laughs> We're gonna go to my uh, favorite restaurant in Panama City. We don't have uh, this place in Austin, so I've been missing it. Meet up with some old friends. But Mox done went off and got a new ride since I saw him last. Well, actually, uh, Hurricane Michael did that for It's a sweet ride here, I know. This is an extra seat in the front, too, but I don't, I don't ever yeah. use it. Thanks to the hurricane, I guess? Yeah. I found the best feature of Mox truck. Cell phone holder. Can you tell I'm a nerd? So Tzatziki's was our uh, best spot. Y'all haven't met Raul. Say hi to YouTube Raul. Hi. So Tzatziki's was our uh, favorite spot whenever I lived here last year and before, so. It's the next day and I am now in Alabama. So this is where I grew up. I'm helping my dad install a uh, pier in the pond. So a little bit of manual labor. That was a bit of an adventure, but uh, we got the post down. So we came down to the uh, football stadium uh, and met with uh, Wendy Metz. She's one of the teachers here. We're gonna, uh, she just bought a drone. We're gonna give her a little bit of an intro and uh, get some footage because uh, I've wanted to fly in a football stadium. I have a connection with this one, so we're gonna make it happen. So being that we're almost uh, midday here, I'm going to uh, install an ND32, actually no, an ND16 filter. It should give me enough to uh, get my frame weight down to where I want it for video. Like one of the things you'll need, so the manual stuff comes in when you want, if you're starting to do video. So that's where like ND filters are important mostly for video. For stills, I use them for stills just because it gives a little more flexibility, but they're basically sunglasses for the, for the drone. halfway in between Geneva and my parents house and I managed to find a uh, cotton field if I don't kill myself on this uh, these vines on the side of the road so this one looks fairly decent I'm gonna put the drone up there and uh, see if uh, see if I can get some shot of cotton it's been on my uh, one of my bucket shot list so I promise y'all are actually straight the ground is just not flat So I think I found a spot that I can uh, take off from without 
knocking all my propellers off. Let's go look at some cotton, shall we? If I could fly, fly right back to where I belong, fly right back to my home sweet home. If I could, I'd take it all back, take it all back and fly high up above the open sea into another destiny. I close my eyes. cotton it's not anything uh, spectacular but uh, I think if it's good solid stuff I have switched cars now uh, headed over to a friend's house who has a um, sort of a, a, a barn out in the country I think it will be some good uh, drone footage I was hoping to get a sunset. Doesn't look like that's going to happen because the uh, the clouds just don't look like they're going to cooperate. But uh, I'm headed up there anyway. See what we can get. See if we can get some shots. Uh, worst case, I'll just fly around a little bit and have some more fun. really awesome got uh, got a tour of the inside that's a really uh, really nice venue they've got put up here the uh, barn on Fuller Hill is what it's called if you're in southeast Alabama or just looking for a uh, wedding event venue in southeast Alabama look them up I'll put the uh, info in the description well that's all for this one if you enjoyed this video please smash that thumbs up button for me if you have questions or comments about ND filters and such, uh, drop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, subscribe for more content. See you in the next one.